All right. Uh, we are going to learn how to use uh, the section plane tool. And the section plane tool gives you the ability to be able to see inside an object, such as this object here. Uh, is this object hollow? Is it solid? We can see there's three cylinder shaped holes in it. Um, but when working in SketchUp, there'll be times when you want to work inside something and you can't see. So we set up what's called a section plane. Think of a section plane as like a window. Uh, here I've clicked on a section plane. And this here is on the blue axis. And that's why it's blue. And it's got some down arrows underneath these, this square here, which means that if I place it here, we'd be able to look down into the object. Now, if I come over here to the side, it automatically snaps to this side here. Uh, now, this is on the red axis. So if I was to set up this section plane here, I'd be able to look in here. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click here on this panel. And like I said, it's as if there's a window there. And I can see inside. I can see those cylinders. They don't go all the way down to the bottom. Um, and what's even cooler about this is that's still kind of limited. Like, how am I going to work in there? What you can do is use your move tool. And to make this work, you have to grab the section plane. You can do that uh, on any of these edges. Uh, it'll turn blue if you've actually grabbed it. So I'm going to go ahead and grab it here. And you can see I can push it all the way through the entire thing. In fact, if you went all the way through, you'd be like, where's my object? It's gone. Um, it's not vanished. It's just allowing you to be able to see inside there. So, uh, you know, if I wanted to work, say, in here like this, okay, I can zoom in. Okay, it's very handy. Architects use this a lot if they're building a house and they want to build the house. Uh, like furniture on the inside and stuff like that. Okay. One thing you want to be careful of, if you grab the corner, uh, well, let's see, here I've grabbed the object, not the section plane. So you got to be careful of that, and trying to get it back to where it was is near impossible. Um, so I'm going to do Control-Z, get that back. So always make sure you're actually grabbing the section plane. See here, it's not letting me. The section plane is not turning blue because it thinks I want the object. But if I come down here, I can actually grab the section plane itself and do that. Um, now, uh, say I'm done and I don't want this section plane anymore. Uh, I'm going to do my select tool. I'm going to grab it. And then I'm going to press delete on my keyboard. Not backspace. Backspace doesn't work. You gotta hit the delete key. Okay. Um, let's do a section plane on the top. Okay. Now it automatically kind of goes to whatever I'm doing here. I'm gonna go to the top and create a section plane. Boom. Let's go ahead and look down inside there. Okay. Now that section plane is not going to move, but if I use my move tool and I grab it, I can move it all the way down to what I want to see. So pretty handy stuff. And those are some cool th tricks you can use to use a section plane.